Hi, did you guys know that India alone constitutes 90% of the 1 billion cricket fans around the world? And I'm not one of them. But I've always been curious why growing up, my family, especially my dad, would always be glued to the TV during men's cricket matches and no other sport. And even today, we have a fan who cycles across India to cheer on his team. Some even hold religious ceremonies before cricket matches. It's pretty evident that cricket is the religion of sports in India. But how did a simple English sport gain such a massive cult following? It was an exclusive boys camp, so not too many girls would take up that sport. So we all know the British imposed their culture and tradition throughout the colonization of India. And the one way they managed to achieve this was by teaching Western sports like cricket in schools across the country. By the 1920s, cricket became a popular sport in various regions with local Indian teams. And with India's independence, there were even protests on banning cricket, as it was considered by some a slow poison blockading the path to independence. For cricket fans, it wasn't just an English sport, but a catalyst in breaking the very deep-rooted social boundaries of the Indian society. You see, early Indian cricket teams had a diverse group of players who came from various castes, religions and socio-economic backgrounds. But not as many women. Because Indians were exposed to cricket as a sport played by English men only for generations, which also led to the popular belief that cricket is a man's game for many years thereafter. Cricket's popularity even outran the often assumed to be national sport of India, hockey. The period from the 1920s to the 1970s were pure gold for the Indian hockey team, winning the country's first ever Olympic gold medal and the Hockey World Cup. But what hockey really missed out on was the introduction of DD national telecast in 1982. So this meant more Indian households had access to live television, increasingly in colour. But this also meant more men could freely watch live cricket at home and in turn urge their entire family to revolve around match timings. So when the Indian national cricket team won the 1983 World Cup, a majority of their male fans celebrated with them. Team India's victory with their lack of ODI experience inspired a generation of now iconic cricketers like Saurav Ganguly, Sachin Tendulkar and Rahul Dravid. So soon enough, local kids started adapting the game onto their own streets, which came to be known as Gully Cricket. Unlike professional cricket, the rules of Gully Cricket are relatively loose and the terms involved have been adapted colloquially in different regions of the country. But what's interesting here is iconic cricketers like Sachin Tendulkar, MS Dhoni and many more started their successful careers with Gully Cricket. With the liberalisation budget being introduced in the 1990s, iconic male cricketers were widely featured in TV ads and billboards across the country. Moreover, in 2003, England introduced a short 20-over version of the game, called the 2020 Cricket Variant, to grab the attention of non-cricket fans. And just like that, India went on to win the first ever T20 World Cup in 2007 as well. With another trophy in hand, the T20 variant was introduced in India through the Indian Premier League with its first season in 2008. The IPL managed to introduce cricket in a commercial light to the Indian crowd by using loud pop music, trained cheerleaders and inviting celebrities to matches, who also happen to own some of these IPL teams. They created teams from a spectrum of local and international players, adding to the appeal and excitement of the game, especially for younger people. And by 2017, the IPL was valued at 39,800 crores of rupees. With all that media attention, male cricketers became an essential part of Indian pop culture. Some of the most iconic Bollywood films like MS Dhoni, Sachin, A Billion Dreams and many more were a result of the sport resonating with typical Indian culture. Fans have even built temples dedicated to their favourite male cricketers, basically likening them to gods. For a country that takes so much pride in treating cricket as a religion, many are not even aware of the variety of teams India has to offer. The India women's cricket team, nicknamed as Women in Blue, made it to the World Cup finals and semi-finals on several occasions. But they never seem to share the same limelight as the men's cricket team. As a result, even today, they aren't paid the same as their male counterparts. Furthermore, the media glamorized the life of a cricketer synonymous to that of a Bollywood star. 
So any union between a Bollywood star and a cricketer would gain a massive crowd attention. To keep his popularity afloat even today, the industry continues to invest in active viewership. The ICC 2019 Cricket World Cup match between Pakistan and India was estimated to have garnered the attention of over a billion people through live TV, radio, and digital platforms. And according to Star India, 20 crore viewers stream cricket matches through Hotstar actively. So of course it's mind blowing that something that was used as a medium of oppression turned into an international success and has made India the center for cricket throughout the world today but let's hope that success isn't just limited to men's cricket